Louis T, aka Big Card Hunter, coming at you with another vicious flavor, delicious hunt. And you see the camo hat, right? That means I'm out here hunting in these streets looking for some heat. And today we're in a product that a lot of people have been disappointed in. And I'm not gonna lie to you, I can't stand the hanger boxes. Um, I only bought them because I was chasing after those rare um, inserts. But um, these hang these mega boxes. I'm confident, even though I've seen a lot of videos and I've seen a lot of people swing and miss and whiff, I'm not them. I expect to pull some heat out of one of these, and I bought several of these um, from both Target and Walmart, so you're going to see this hunt more than once, especially if I don't come up with something tonight, but that's nor here nor there because I expect to come away with something. Th these mega boxes, I think, are going to prove to be fruitful. Uh, the bigger box here on the right is from Target. Target to me always has these ridiculously big boxes for no reason. You open it up and it's just nothing but space in a few packs. I prefer the Walmart boxes, a lot less wasted space, but either way, I don't care where the heat comes from. Target, Walmart, I just want it. In each of these boxes, you'll find five packs uh, or four packs, excuse me, five cards in each of those packs. So a grand total of 20. That really is frustrating to people, just like with Flux. Not enough cards for the amount of money you're spending. A lot of people have had gripes about that. And then if you're not coming away with heat, it makes it even worse. So it compounds things. For me, I don't mind spending because I'm chasing after one of these booklets. I'm chasing after an auto. You know, So I think I'm going to or one of these uh, super short print um, case hits. I'm going to find something. I'm, I feel it in my bones. So I'm excited to get into these mega boxes. So without any further delay, let's get to the proceedings this evening. My guy Blade Black is going to come in here and do, do what he does best. And that's slice and dice, make everything nice. So with that said, we're going to get these puppies open, get the four packs out that each contain five cards. We'll do our normal QC to make sure Panini didn't jerk us around and only give us three packs or something crazy like that. So we'll get into this Walmart box first. Inside, we should find four packs. There they are. This one seems a little bit thicker. Maybe not. Maybe they're all the same. You know, it doesn't feel too much thicker. So don't think there's a booklet inside of this particular box, but you never know. Um, there's something you're hoping in here. You're hoping that it's either an, uh, an auto or a, play, uh, or a uh, booklet. I don't really too care for the, the mem cards that I've seen people pull inside the top target box. We find our four packs. So um, Panini did their job once again. And so we'll leave this one here. We'll start with target here first and see what we can find. All right. So this one feels a little thicker. I'm going to save this one for last. Let's go here. This one feels really thin. This actually feels like it's not even four, four uh, five cards in here. So, you know, th this feels like a little thin, but maybe it's just all base cards. We'll see. Either way, let's get into it. Mahomes, base. Woo! Ugh. So, we hit something, rookie, but it's jail and camp. <laughs> okay, so you, you get excited, and then you see who it is, and then you go, oh, that's what that is. We'll put that one off to the side, though. Uh, it's still something different. You know, something you don't usually see in these boxes. I, I don't really care too much for the sparkles. That kind of gives me the sparkle vibes there. Um, but whatever. J.C. Horn. So there were five cards in here. I, you know, I, I stand corrected. And Trevor Lawrence. I haven't hit a Trevor Lawrence base, so we'll sleeve that one up. Um, I've hit a few of these quarterbacks in base form, but not Trevor. So we'll sleeve this Jalen Camp up, even though it's Jalen Camp. Well, let's leave it up anyway, you know. Maybe uh, Jalen Camp's mom wants to buy a card. Who knows, right? So, let's see what we got here. Hayden Hurst in pack two of the Target box. Allen Robinson, now a member of the Los Angeles Rams. Austin Eckler with the zoning commission. Kadarius Toney, who is on the trading block because he can't behave himself in New York with the Giants. And Kellen Mond on a purple uh, parallel insert. I am good on Kellen Mond. So we go to pack number three of four in the Target Mega. See if there's any heat here. Randall Cobb, Adam hooked on a Thielen, Sony Michelle zoning commission insert, 
Paulson Adebo, rookie, and Anthony Schwartz, rookie. So this pack felt thicker than the rest, so this tells me this is where it's probably a mem card. Feels like a mem card, um, but let's see what it is, all right? Feels thick, though, thicker than all the rest of the packs. Antonio Brown, all right, so this is a Josh Jacobs Zoning Commission mem. So I told you it was, it was a mem more likely than not. We'll sleeve that up. Uh, we got a Derrick Henry Captains. And then you have a AO rookie card for the Atlanta Falcons. And then a Marquise Hollywood Brown on a purple parallel to finish up the target uh, box. So nothing really major in the target box. Uh, these are the hits from targets box. We'll leave those there. We'll push those off to the side. Matter of fact, we'll switch sides. Target will vacate to over there. And we will get into this Walmart box and see if any of these boxes that are packs feel. Yeah, the last one feels thicker than the rest. So we'll leave that just like we did the last mega box. Um, for whatever reason, Walmart is always better to me than Target. So let's see if that holds true here. Start with Christian McCaffrey, CMC. And we get a Chaz Surratt. Similar to the last box, we got um, like a little parallel here. We get with Chaz Surratt. Got Trevor Lawrence next up. So we'll put that in the sleeve. Yeah, uh, Osa Odigizua, rookie for the Cowboys. And Nico Collins, rookie for the Houston Texans. So on the pack number two of Playbook, where we find... Jalen Hurts to start. Got Brandon Cooks. Zoning Commission, Aaron Jones. You got Peyton Turner. That's a rookie card. And you got Kenne Wongwu. That's orange, so let's see if that's numbered. It is not, but it's an orange parallel. We don't see that very often. Normally, they're purple. I like Kenne Wongwu. Had a kickoff return for a touchdown this year. Throw him off to the side. All right, Roethlisberger, retired, no longer in the league. You have a gold Kenneth Gainwell, numbered to 49. So that's my first numbered hit in the playbook space. Rookie running back, Kenneth Gainwell. We'll sleeve that up here. We got a Trey Lance next up. So we hit another rookie quarterback in that insert there. Got a Mac Jones base. This this pack turned out to be really good. We'll just leave that up. And then we got a Carlos Boogie Basham to finish up. So that was a good pack right there. And uh, Walmart, as I said, always seems to be better than Target for me. And it's proving true again. Now, we still haven't hit our auto booklet slash mem. It's probably a mem card. Um, but let's see what it is. Um, and we've already surpassed Target already. Tyreek Hill. Josh Allen, Captain's Patch, as you can see there. So we'll sleeve that up. Nothing major there. Next up, Javante Williams. Deami Brown, rookie in Washington. And Tyran Matthew, who's still looking for a new home on an orange parallel to finish up. So uh, let's get to sleeving real quick <clears throat> uh, out of this Walmart box. Uh, and Walmart did its thing. I mean, again, didn't come away with anything huge. You know, no autographs, no rookie quarterbacks that necessarily moved the needle a ton, but came away with a Mac Jones base. Haven't, I don't think I've gotten one of those. I had a bunch of Zach Wilson bases. Even hit a purple Zach Wilson base. Trey Lance on an insert. Next up, we hit Trevor Lawrence on that same insert. We had a Kenneth Gainwell. That's the biggest hit of the hunt. Kenneth Gainwell, numbered to 49. As you can see right there, uh, gold. So that was a nice hit. Kenny Wongwu, orange, parallel on the rookie, and then Trevor Lawrence next up. So let's go ahead and assess the damage of both products. Uh, put this in uh, working order really fast. Let's see what we got. All right, here, and this one was pretty simple here. So you start out with Target, 
Got a Jalen Camp parallel. I don't know what they call that, but that's a little parallel there. Got Trevor Lawrence base. Hadn't hit that one yet. And got a Josh Jacobs zoning commission patch. That's the guarantee of the box. You got that same insert here of this time Chaz Surratt, another rookie. Linebacker out of North Carolina. Kenny Wongwu, his teammate. Rookie, orange parallel. Trey Lance, next up. And he's definitely next up in San Francisco. He'll get a chance this year. Trevor Lawrence, next up. All right. Mac Jones, base. Don't think I had a Mac Jones base to this point. Now I do. Captains, Josh Allen, patch. Not numbered, but the patch. That's the guarantee of the box. And then this one is not a guarantee. It's my first numbered hit in the playbook space. Um, Eagles rookie running back Kenneth Gainwell out of Memphis, numbered 249. So, um, not bad. Not bad. Um, I told you I'm going to do this at least once more. Um, so, I'm hoping that I uncover a booklet, man. That is the goal. That is what we're after. That's what we're looking to do. Or one of those short print, super short print inserts along the way. Or a nice auto would be great, too. So, no, didn't get any of that here, but uh, this wasn't a disappointment. I, I didn't come away with this feeling too bad about what we just did. So uh, if you enjoy this content, which how could you not? Hit the subscribe button for more of it. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of it. Also, hit the like button as it helps this channel grow exponentially. So does commenting. Leave a comment down in the comment section. How do you feel about this product, Playbook? Have you been disappointed by it? Have you opened and ripped any of this? How, how has your success been or, or not been? Talk to me about uh, what you've done in the playbook space and also talk about what you saw here with this hunt. Any cards intrigue you? I'll leave it down in the comment section. You know what this is. It's hunting season. It never ends, especially here on Big Card Hunter. Until next time, I'm your man, Louis T, signing off and also telling you, happy hunting. Big Card Hunter.